for the work. Anyway. Uh, morning accident. Kaya ingat. I should have been driving while filming. Um, wala accident si Kuya. Always take care. which will start December 3 up to 7 with our ERI security and of course our ERI scientists to perform uh, agriculture drones for crop assessment and crop protection but I'll be attending the crop assessment check it out And this is flying over sunset. And then this is how they land the plane. You noted that you really is allowed to fly at night time. Okay. Through the years we have developed okay and someone on a motorcycle. Okay. Scientist, he will be your instructor along with Arnel in the third day of, the, of this course. To use tractors with booms and sensors, you don't see that from below. Okay? The, uh, the long term continuous cropping experiment. So, what you could see is the variation in the uh, greenness Sorry. of the crop shot using a modified. RGB basically we remove the infrared lens so we use this as an input with the RGB to come up with the normalized uh, and the vegetation, vegetation and the index protection the only or the first hour okay and then this is me relaxing using the other execute your flight plan and the drone does it all Direct seeding mm. or granular fertilizer okay, in here is that we're supposed to just show him the draw, okay? <laughs> we just had our photo ops and attending the first session right now. So intensive, the drones here at the institute. Uh, the hex, okay. I love that drone. Okay. Yes. For photography and videography, yeah. they can have more propellers. <laughs> finish day one morning session now we're in the afternoon sessions of the drone for agriculture here in the institute and it's already 1 30 i'm already late so we just had a quick lunch we're now on the simulation stage first was the briefing and the cut up rules the regulations and all the stuff pre-flight checks post-flight checks and now we're on the simulation let's check it out cool. where we normally have our training for the every education.
Now, I increase more power by pushing the stake. Okay. Let's have some sound for real realism. Okay. Dito sa nabudog nito. Saan? Saan siya? Ayaw ko man. Dami yung control siya. Mag, sa bawat kiss na to, pwede kang maglagay kung anong iba-iba. Sir, ako naka-trim. Ako naka-trim to eh. I-trim to na to kanina. Where's your ball? Okay. 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 So parang toy quad to kasi hindi nag yung remote control hindi nag sa center kailangan mo manually control mabuti so para ka nag fly ng sima challenging siya hindi tulad ng DJI nag hover kasi ito hindi nag hover eh pag inano mo siya mga baba siya ng pusa oh umiikot ka na umiikot ka na lost in chase bro the sky between the sky and the ground Oh, oh. Para kasi para sa palapit sa iyo. Tumataas eh. Wala na eh. Nice finger eh. What part of India you know about? I'm Kerala. Lesson. Kerala. I know Kerala. You know Kerala. Oh. Parang bumalik ako sa pagka toy grade ko ng gamit niya eh. So, papalitan nila yung screen, wala na yung telemetry nung remote, yung altitude naman ang meron, altitude. Ito ang fiber, fiber, carbon fiber talaga. Okay, listen everyone, when you're hovering, not losing the ground, and seeing the sky, you know the altitude. the drone with the simulator. Phoenix, ang tawag ito, Phoenix RC version 4. Ayun na siya, lumilipad na siya. So, dapat half lang. So, this is simple thing. Wow! Wait! Ang hirap niya i-control sa totoo lang. Para yung toy blade quad ko pa na sima. So, we're now doing the simulation by the Phoenix RC version 4 and we're now doing some tests like the maintaining of altitude, the positioning of a square which is kind of difficult because there's no altitude hold. It's very challenging. So it's the first time because the DJI has the hold so you can easily control the drone. Let's continue and see if I can pass the square test. Okay. 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 Okay
ang certification. RPAS ba ang mananin? RP, RPA certification. For uh, check this. Checklist. Yes. Okay. Coding is like black is also there. Or it can be black to white. Okay. So, okay, so just attach. Me done for the mood. Just press. Okay, mamo na ka. Attaching the gimbal. Checking the battery. Press and hold. Flash. Press and hold. Very nice and sha. And it's pink, it's like a model. <laughs> Checking for obstruction, just to check. We have some obstruction over there. So check flight mode. So the common practice is to do the pre-flight checks, same as the one I'm giving in the tutorial. Okay. Okay, then then checking for number of satellites. Doing the Phantom Three. Good thing we're doing the Phantom Four. Okay, switch on. Press and hold. On your hand. Dar, dar, better dar. His Kumar. Better Kumar, okay. Dar and Kumar. Satellites. The good sound that you need to hear. Home point is updated. The grid coordinate of this place. Of this place. Yes, yes. So, meaning, uh, every part of controls after takeoff. Initializing. When you move like this, then when you see the aircraft is initialized. Okay, One way to check the control is working. So backward, backward, right side. Yo, doing great job. That is clockwise. Doing mo naman. Here's Dar. Yeah. You'll be on YouTube soon. <laughs> Dar and Kumar. Kumar from India. From India office. Yeah, control. Okay. Then stop. Turn to the right. So now they're doing the circle, doing a square, then counterclockwise and the circle. There's the other group right behind me doing their flight. Jerry L here, we see. RPA certified controller for the Philippines. They call it the CAAPOL, the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines. So these guys are certified. Unfortunately for me, I'm not because I'm only below 7 kg and I don't need that because I don't do commercial drone pipe. And that's the ground station right there behind me. Oh, lovely sound. <laughs> lovely sound. Omar is now flying the drone. Very good. Yeah, the Philip Kumar Sagal okay. is running a drone. Yeah. <laughs> Our Indian colleagues in Erie are now flying the drone. Let's check out Dar. Taking a drone with Kumar yeah. from Erie, India. So I will start again. With Captain Jerry and our pilot. Yeah, my, with my guru, Jerry. <laughs> Jer guru, Jerry. guru. Drag you to the direction. Okay. Actually, I do have a more Indian fans. They will subscribe you because we're doing it in India make and we will make you. So Indian people will appreciate it. So it's my turn now. Gonna fly the Phantom Four. Check battery. Full battery. So I'll move thirty. Then you're ready to take off. Okay. The Leon is doing amazing with the drone. Yay! Drone pilot. Uh, you are a drone pilot. <laughs> we will approach our guru to send you to India. <laughs> no, you you have to come to teach the people there. Actually, but no the problem in India is that uh, a foreigner is not allowed to fly the drone. We do have other team also that is trying there. It is better to concentrate on the drone yeah. uh, rather than discuss personal. The discussion. <laughs> so maybe focus, you will lose focus, the control. <laughs> okay, sir, circle now. Yeah, circle. Uh, I'll do the circle. Okay, you are. Forward. Oh, okay. Oh. Let's say forward, tapos, oh. ganyan. Oh, ganyan. Oh, ganyan din lang.
<laughs> hindi ko alam kung <laughs> spiral mode oh, yan. wow figure of eight circular yan you did the circular okay so just arrived from the field time to take our lunch after that more flying this afternoon look at the agras here so expensive after the break now i have to go back to the training it's already one o'clock i have to rush back now 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 to see the controls of the old style drone transmitter so many buttons here here the sticks doesn't hold at the center you have to really control it you see if you push up it's all the way up so that's the old style of doing it and there are so many switches here that you can customize i think this is an expensive transmitter and expensive drone the agra good for agriculture that's good for spraying pesticide uh, liquid or even grain forms that's enough. you just change the tank si ote po Susunod yan, napapalipad niya. <laughs> Ang kadami yan, bati na yan. Fully charged. Can we carry it? Yeah. So, go, go, go to have the more videos. Don't bullock people in. So, don't worry. We will appreciate your efforts. We will share it people to subscribe you. All the Indian people to subscribe. All the Indians will, will, will subscribe to my channel. Okay, he's our friend. And he's a good guy. Okay. <laughs> or if there's if this is closed, you just jump off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <they're excellent. laughs> subscribe, ha, subscribe. <laughs> Ma'am, di kayo kita. Subscribe. 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 Then I delayan. Then I delayan. Kumar is now installing the propeller. Yeah. Oh, check the checklist. <laughs> you cannot memorize the checklist. Don't forget, ah, so we're still doing the circle, the squares, and all of those, the uh, eight rotation, clockwise and counterclockwise, that's a common practice, uh, practice what's in the checklist. The purpose of that is the orientation. We're now performing the pre-flight checklist. Processing, signal is green, but still number of satellites are unknown. That's their group. They're using the Phantom 3 Pro, while our group uses the Phantom 4 Pro. Otep is now doing same direction. Forward and yo. I'm asking permission to Pardeep if I can take a picture and video of him. He agrees. Sathiyo, Namaskar. Today we are in Intrastia Dhan Anusandhan, in the center of the Mukhyalaya, which is in the Philippines. एक छोटी सी प्रोविंस जो एक राज्य है इनका लगुना लगुना के अंदर हम हैं और आज यहाँ पर हम अपने कुछ साथियों के साथ ड्रोन तकनीक का किस प्रकार से कृषि के अंदर प्रयोग किया जा सकता है उसपे कुछ काम करें हमारे साथी हैं और हमारे साथ हमारे ट्रेनर हमारे गुरु भी हैं गुरु देख सकते हैं जेरे जेरियल जेरियल जम्मू और कश्मीर से आए हैं और आपके यहाँ देख रहे हैं कि ट्रेनिंग को सीखने के लिए बड़ी जिज्ञासा से बड़े उत्सुकता से देख रहे हैं और साथियों हमने भी इसका जो परीक्षण है कर चुके हैं अब टर्न बाय टर्न बारी बारी से हम लोग कर रहे हैं थैंक यू मिलते हैं दोबारा I don't understand the word he said but I think it's good it's in India I think he's inviting you to Indian some Korean people will definitely love ah okay so I will now have Indian subscribers because of you Pardeep thank you subscribe 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 LeBron James the greatest player <laughs> here yeah, here and, uh, and you should hold the basketball. Of, you know, and this mom Iris has uh, invited me, so on her special request, I'm here. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I think this is on the Kestrel windometer measures the wind. So now they're doing the the exam, actually, the the test on doing the pre-flight. So they'll just observe Jeriel. Sir Jeriel will just observe us and check if we will follow the the pre-flight checks and Pardeep is the one going to do this first then me, then Otep, then Shanawas
get it bonkin'. Buddy. Cheering for the pilot. Ready to cheer. <laughs> okay. That's the real pilot because he's using a fixed wing. Oh, ang bilis naman. Hindi ko na nahabol. Dapat ka kasi nasa likod ka. Just finished the training. I did miss out two points on the checklist. One is I open up the aircraft before the transmitter. And the second one is clearing off when uh, people are blocking the way or close to the drone. You should move them away. Even though you are a seasoned pilot or a advanced pilot, you still need to practice. I think I'll end day two of the vlog here with the drone for agriculture. Tomorrow is going to be more in-depth on imaging, capturing the data, getting back the data, assessing the crops that you have. Peace out. Very specifically, um, measurements of color on the ground in, in, in the location, as well as three-dimensional models of the ground. A couple of things. Manually, it's difficult to fly really accurately over the field, and each one of those transects, you want to be a set distance apart, and the flying at a set speed. And what variable rate control means is you can change how much it's how much mm -hmm. chemical it's spraying or how much fertilizer here and less here and more here and less here. It's be more precise. What's the big difference between uh, uh, the difference between near infrared and red? Um, this is using a multispectral camera or a modified. Good day peeps, Megan Denner and today is day 3, December, December 5, uh, Agriculture Drones Crop Assessment. This time with Steve Klassen and Arnel Rada. Now they're doing the training. We're now here in re-education in the bathroom, sorry, because this is the only time I can have myself to talk to you guys. So let's go check that out today. See ya. Mapping uh, workflow. So most of the commercial or hobbies uh, over the shelf are equipped with uh, optical cameras so these are rgb resolution might vary so i did try web odm uh, using using a linux with uh, 8gb memory this is the uh, ndi coming from drone deploy mm -hmm. areas that i uh, have green are, are a lot of biomass so the red ones are those that are basically the buns has bare soil and some grasses. So after lunch, I have to go back to 1.30. There's always detail time because we ended up 12.30. Okay, so now I learned that we are going out to the field near the Omali building and that's where we will use the drone deploy or the flight plan that's set for us. And let's check out Steve and Arnel's flight plan drone-based mapping and uh, right now what I've developed so far is just the data capture uh, outside the field on if you're flying parallel to the field on two sides of the field and at both ends you need to fly a little bit beyond if you're using a fixed wing drone it needs to go further because it needs to take a big turn to come back I use a folder that has the name of the camera like RGB or MS for multi-spec, or TH for thermal. Tap on the GS Pro to show you what that looks like. You do this indoors with a Wi-Fi connection. Ones that are blocked um, have this. It means it, you can edit it because mm -hmm. it still hasn't been. Found. So how's day three of the drone assessment, huh? You're enjoying? Looks like we, you're we sleepy. Dana, Dana, Dana is the brother from another mother. <laughs> yeah, he can hear you. I have the buko pie and... Come on, the buko pie outside, but a sandwich inside. Sandwich, okay. So this is the RTK system. Again, you need a tripod. Or it could be on a building. You can up here with a data logger to collect the data. But yeah. And then as it's recording data from the satellites, the satellite data, since there's error in it, this we'll tell it it's like moving. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. it'll record the position uh, here. There, 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 there. Yeah. There. yeah. All of this is going to be relative to the position of that. Uh, 
power. Has a second GPS for this camera. Yeah. And a few data cards that have memory. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> cameras. Mm -hmm. um, it's not just one camera. Here's the, the batteries. Again, you have, Battery, just like the other drone, you have. There's a white dot. Yeah, there's no white dot. Let's make it even simpler. Oh. And towards the uh, the trailing edge. Oh. That sun came over the field partway through the year um, because of GPS Oops. error. Yeah. Um, it's just like the other drone, it's a press and a hole. Press Converse. and a hole. And a press and a hole. Can you know? And then it's going to a Wi Fi connection. It puts out its own Wi Fi hotspot. And there I can see lots of information. These are all the satellites that it sees. Mm -hmm. 16, 17 satellites are vis nice. out of 23 are visible. Camera tab, I can use this to take an image of that panel. And you don't want it shadows on it. And you need to get the camera. Again, it's five cameras, so it took five pictures. Oh. One, two, three, four, five of mm -hmm. that panel. Mm -hmm. And I can see right away, okay, it got clear uh, pictures, they're centered. Yeah, okay. And it's going to use that in the processing later. I'll show you tomorrow. This is the RTK. It turns it red. red, it won't let uh, me fly. It won't, this is gray down here, it won't let me fly. Um, so it's, it's smart enough to tell you that. Now it's going to oh. go. Wow, autonomous flying. Now let's... It's going to go straight up to its 30 meter altitude. Uh, it's fully autonomous. DJI GS Pro map. So here it is at the edge of the field, and that was a picture. Every two seconds. Now, it's catching a little bit more, but there's 80% overlap now. So Steve is now doing the autonomous flight using the matriz with the spectral camera attached to it. So there's two cameras that are very expensive spectral camera. Where's the drone? I cannot see the drone. There it is. And you can see it here, it's flying straight back. The sun. There it is. We have green lights on the back, that's a GPI um, standard for them. So it lands very well Ooh. by itself. Yeah. Do it in reverse, so you turn off the top one first, okay. press and hold. <laughs> Take a <it in. laughs> So you should always make sure your camera lenses are nice and clean. In edge, which mm. that make this equipment, and they've charged a lot of money for it. Ooh. So like we have leveling bubble. Oh, okay. Um, that it's, it's level. Level. Mm. It's how far off the ground it is. Oh, Land, okay. If you have a leveling bubble, then I can get it a lot Center. closer than that. I can think the rover. The lines are the satellites that this is picking up. I can see it through the tent because it's thin. The green ones mean it's getting a much stronger signal. The, all of them are less than one centimeter. Now it's going to show me all the latitude longitude. I'm ready to collect points. Going field, so mm -hmm. I put them adjacent to the field. All you have to do is set, set it in the center, get it, again, relatively level on that bubble. Okay. Once you got it relatively level, try to hold it there. It's going to average over 30 seconds. It's a little bit... It's also checking whether its quality control is good. If it meets all its criteria, it could... it would automatically accept it. <laughs> I just use the standard CSV, and that's going to put it on my phone. So I've reinforced it with some tape. Her belly must be, you know, having some scratches. Yeah, and then this is a replaceable. And then orient the shape to a different... Uh... Hey peeps, me again dinner and I'm with Shanawaz, yeah. Otep, Leo, from Leo. there, and Pardeep. Leo. We're now on day, day. Yeah. Day four so of the training. Tagalog, yeah. <laughs> These people are disturbing us. Tagalog, Tagalog. <laughs> and one thing, you need to pre-flight check the drone and the SD card. I oh, never forgot about the SD card. It's gimbal, now going back. Power remote. That's very good for Gimba spotter. Ma'am Iris over there. How, how much does this cost? The ones are the Phantom 4 Pro. Not the Pro because it doesn't have the side sensor same as the security. Anong pinisipat natin dyan, Pops? Ha? 
security card that's one of the pre-flight checklist it's also my big mistake whenever i fly my drone and one of the big mistake is not turning on the record button and now we are doing the checklist checking out the weather the solar flare obstacles obstruction and it's showing us how to do the flight plan on drone deploy so the agras was flown earlier the pesticide the crop protection drone yeah so here's shanavas if he has a YouTube or Facebook, subscribe to yeah, his channel. Yeah, every Indian will subscribe and <laughs> subscribe at the bulk. At the bulk, okay, thank you. Don't deploy, we'll say. Connected. Uh, connected. Drone connected. connected. Almost three minutes flight time. One hectare. Okay. The plan has been saved, okay. 80 meters altitude. USB okay, waiting on, on drone. the drone. Camera, controller, and, and the flight plan. Down. If it says it's okay, uh, it's recognized already. Yes, we're there, it, it the will drone. move there. Fly button. Yes. Oh. Automatic already. Okay, so that's the problem with drone deploy. So it's checking for all the visual stuff uh, uh, this capture of... mode equal distance I'll just ah, equal should equal equal time interval time interval and then oh spotter spotter where's your so it's already flying itong nakatapot yan yung mga puno kaya dapat nakaredy ka rin sir nasa na spot ba sir still best snap Taking a snapshot of the field. Look at the car. So it gives you the telemetry. The height of 80 meters. Distance is 200 meters. The speed is 10 meters per second. So satellite, wireless, even the mobile, you have to have good signal. Uh, there you are. It is now doing the flight plan oh, using GS yeah. Pro. Transmitter. Where is your spotter? Sure. This one? Yes. Wind okay. condition. Size. It's moving. Oh, it's bunny hopping. Yes. So it's bunny hopping at first, but now... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dun -dun. So time. check everything no, if it's okay. Yeah, yeah go back. Checking the accuracy of the landing of the drone, where it took off and then where it's going down. Let's see how accurate it is. <laughs> no one should come near, huh? Phone! Landing on the phone! Distance. Now, taking the memory card out! <laughs> yeah. Baka kasama ito. So, damay mo na yan. Para mababalipad. Yun. IMU niya. Aww, too bad. Bili na kayo ng ice candy. Ice candy. Bili na kayo. Okay. May tali. So, cancel ang flight. Mga flight plan namin na disrupt. But still, we will continue doon sa loob. That's the 2D map. This is the plant health. I'm using RGB. RGB, so I have to change this to vary. Just bump up the indices from between the maximum positive value to the maximum negative value. And as you can see, so here there is zero fertilizer mm -hmm. and it's very stressed. The greener one means there are more vegetation. Mm -hmm. Compared to the inside crops, are all dying out. Mm. Okay. So this one, two, three. These are the red, green, and blue channel. Okay. To come up with vary, you first have to write the equation of. Can okay, you mm. check what is the true equation of vary? Okay. You can change that uh, symbolization. So it's black to white. Oops. Trabaho pala. 
So the value is negative 2, but in reality, varies between negative 1 and Let's just accept this. Ibang iba, no? Everything is near 0. Anywhere here, it will give me uh, the value for that band, which is band number 1. It's negative 0 0.48. So on. But if you look at the orthomosaic, it will report a different value. All the three values will be there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, the value here is from 0 to 255 because it, uh, our input is a JPEG and it only contains those reflectance value, value of 0 oh, to 255. Actually, it's not a reflectance value. Ends the session of day four on the AM warning session. There's so many information overload from drone deploy, Pix4D, DJI GS Pro, all the software QGIS, ArcGIS, computing NDVI, NDI, RGBs, vary. So all of these are information overload already in my head. So there's more to this than just my drone skills in photography and videography and editing this is a different race that i'm going into so i'm taking my droning skills to the different level uh, the research level and it's quite challenging because there are so many things you need to know so many things to do so little time anyway we can still continue with arnel doing the job maybe steve klassen will be here again for today check it out this is this is the database within uh fix 4 d the sonic system where everything is measured in meters, which is mm -hmm. what is useful, those coordinates and just be able to measure distances. With the flight lines, I can click on any one of these red dots and it's an image. Mm -hmm. That's the image. Um, this is where we, we flew from and the, and the drone flew over here and then did its transects. Actually, this one from yesterday I sent to the cloud. The 3D model isn't as vivid of a picture because it's not so again high nitrogen absorbing more red light for photosynthesis so it's darker here's the fields that we are mapping and you see it brings it in it knows exactly where it goes that's what i mean it's a map and it's geo corrected mm -hmm. um, so it falls pretty much in the right place so i just basically created little squares Yes. from all the plots that I want to extract data from. I'm doing it from the center of these plots because I just don't need all that data on my cloud. We can still, with this multi-spectral camera, um, we're getting high enough resolution that mm -hmm. you can see we can get a good model for pixel resolution. So it's lower resolution than the RGB. It's about the same as we're getting with the fixed wing, but it's the multi-spectral. The fixed wing's multi-spectral camera can only do about six centimeter pixel resolution. So this is three times higher. Now where is that shape file, the one that identifies those squares? We'll start to see it's doing stuff. Mm. Okay. Number one. It assigned the date, the plot number, the nitrogen level, variety, type of plot, whatever its number was, its elevation. Now it's calculated the height. So that's the height. Those, that plot has a median height of 70 centimeters. Around 130 days variety. And till it's, till it's 90, 100 days, it's green. Mm. And after that, it starts uh, okay. purple. Always take care. Today is day four, day five of our drone training at the institute, and it's the last day. And hopefully, we are now officially can do drone mapping, crop assessment using drones. Every morning. So another accident right there. Two accidents within the day. After math, 
of uh, BPH damage against uh, heat. You could use that as a training area for machine learning and it was able to identify the entire field. This kind of damages I uh, uh, We use Horizon 2000 mm, yeah. in our own uh, crop growth model to come up with yields. And it is based on uh, LAI. Biomass. Uh, LAI starts to go down because most of the uh, activity now is centered on producing the grains. And then gonna fly the drone the phantom 4 of arnel using gs pro meters instead of 70 40 meters yes but you could go for 70 if you can see it mm -hmm. okay. visual line of sight visual then try to so you have to look at alipanin natin sparky sparky kami para may kuha naman kami ni na ma'am <laughs> What's the 65. battery? Ah, mataas pa yan. How about the tablet? Tablet, tablet is still high. Send the new one. Ito kayo dyan. Bibenta Sir Arnel lang ice candy. Or may orange flavor, mango flavor. Init, <laughs> sobra. But we were able to finish. Get a copy of that. Using drone deploy, quarter mosaic. Upload the photos. Ayun dito, may kuli wapas. Open. Ah, oh, there it is. Dami. So there's my plot right there. So ground control points. You can put the ground control. This is discussed earlier. It's Kuyakal. And there's a map chat from Anya that I can use drone deploy for the plant health algorithm. Let's check it out. It's still processing. It's now ready to view. 0.68. Kaya mabilis na yung kada. Yes! Ayun na siya! Wow! They got it in 3D. And the elevation you have to pay. And for the plant health you have to pay. The 2D, okay. Or the mosaic. But the 3D, it's okay. Nice. Very nice. Boy, just learned that he passed away today to to an accident yesterday. Very nice guy. Today, Kuya Kaloy passed away for due to an accident near the South Supermarket where I also go across to. It was unfortunate to know that he passed away. He's a very good and energetic guy. My deepest condolences to the family. And Abby, his daughter, I was able to perform with one of the Iriduets. And Kuya Kaloy was coaching us on how to perform that song, which is now First Friday, so we might pray for him during this first ride in us. We'll just pause and pray for him. Finish the first Friday mass. We usually do the first Friday mass here and we pray for Korea Kaloy's passing. Now it's time to go back to work, training, usual day. Beautiful. Uh, minimal 
No. Uh, <laughs> no this, these are also sunset. No? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm uh, encouraging Pardip to buy the spark. Um, our head, Dr. Peter Brothers. I would like to say first, thank you for attending the course. Maraming salamat. You're all mostly Filipinos. Do you know how they to know. say it? To speak yeah. Tagalog? Filipinos, salamat. Jeriel, for your training. And a lot of knowledge about drone technology. Making sure that you also learn how to apply the skills that you have. This is uh, a breakthrough for us in the training industry. So we're very, very fortunate to have had very good resource persons, okay? So before, of course, we thank you for attending. But of course, we also want to thank um, all our able resource persons for teaching you throughout the five days. So let's give them a big round of applause, okay? Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the upper left and on the lower right. Peace.